I did a show on a, a gay boy cruise. Yeah, me and two and a half thousand gay men on a ship. I never, I, I saw some shit on that boat that could not be unseen, ladies and gentlemen. Me and two and a half thousand gay men. I've never felt so safe in my life. I kept her uh, coming out naked again. Nobody wants this. <laughs> take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> I watched as thousands of gay men just vomited at the sight of my body. Oh, oh my God, it's horrible. I think I saw a clam. This is horrible. I was following them around a week and I heard these guys talking about this deck of the ship that they go to at night called the Dit Deck. And I was like, what the hell is the Dit Deck? Name's pretty self-explanatory. But a guy heard me asking and he came up to me, he's like, Gina, I heard you guys, I uh, heard you asking about the Dit Deck and look, that's our secret place, that's where we go. That's where we go to have fun, We're un, you know, not under the prying and judgmental eyes of others. And so, you know, we don't like women up on the dick deck. I hope you understand. And I was like, you know what? I do understand. I do. I get it. I do. Thing is, though, uh, I've got a bucket list. <laughs> and dick deck just went to number one on that bucket list. I need to see the fucking dick deck. So I sneaked up to the dick deck in the middle of the night. And holy shit, there were dicks everywhere. It was dickathon. It was a dick-tastic. It was a cornucopia of cock. It was just... Men in all kinds of activities. All kinds, and, and it was dead quiet up there, dead quiet. Because there was no women, just dead quiet. Because when men have sex with men, they don't have to pretend to know about culture and arts. If a guy liked another guy up on the dick deck, he just went up behind him, just went up behind him like that. I could do this all night, this is hilarious to me. <laughs> all kinds of activities going on. I tripped over a guy and his boyfriend just giving it some. The guy was like, ugh, 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 ugh. I don't know if you know this, but gay men sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> when they're giving head. Ugh, 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 ugh. And then he looks up and he's like, ugh. oh, Gina, hey. <laughs> You're hilarious. I love what you do. I follow you on Instagram and Facebook. I've got you. I love what you do. I, I, I'm such a fan. I hope your career goes to the next level. You're amazing. I love you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> At one point in the proceedings, uh, two guys broke away from the pack and went off to have their own private time. So I fought in for a penny, so I followed them. <laughs> and I felt like I was in a wildlife show, though. I was just like that. Oh. Does that hurt, sir? <laughs> and they were going in. And I can't help myself, I'm black, I've got rhythm. I found myself just moving with them. Just <laughs> Now, at one point, one of the guys looked up and looked into my face and saw that I was a female. Probably because my face was right here at this point. <laughs> so there was an awkward few moments where we were just looking into each other's eyes, just... <laughs> and that was me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the dick deck, boys and girls. Uh, I was shocked and outraged for the entire seven hours I was up there. Absolutely <laughs> shocked. <laughs> <laughs> 